everybody, welcome back to Rain and Paws. I'm Mitch and today I am doing some Christmas themed coasters. So I've got a Christmassy color palette of reds, greens and some gold. And I haven't mixed up my gold yet because I'm going to show you the Little Piggy Pigment Blender. So here are the colors that I have mixed up. I'm not going to use that one, that's a cell activator. And I'm actually going to mix up a fresh cell activator with you. So let's see if I have an empty container. And I do. All right, so I'm going to mix up fresh cell activator and I'm going to mix up some this little piggy ball gown. So I need to grab this little piggy ball gown and I don't know where my container has gone. I suspect I have a tray that's gone missing somewhere and that's got my little piggy ball gown in it. And it's one of my favorite colors. So I don't know where that's gone or which other colors are missing. And for my cell activator, I'm going to be using some harvest gold, this little piggy and also some metallic gold by Matisse. Okay, and I'm also going to use a black cell activator if I can find it. There it is. Actually, you know what? Let's do bronze. Yeah, let's do a bronze cell activator. I've already got that mixed up. So. Take out my white, take out my that, and put those two at the back. Okay, so we're going to mix up first our this little piggy ball gown. So when I mix up my this little pigments, I like to have my container ready and then have my Josonia gloss varnish mixed with water. So we call this the Joa mixture. Thanks, Lisa Marvin, for coining that one. And this mixture is three parts Josonia gloss varnish to one part water. So I usually mix up 75 millimeter, milliliters of Josonia varnish to 25 milliliters of water. Then, so I've just put enough in the bottom of that uh, to coat the bottom. And then I'm going to add in a nice big heaped spoon of ball gown of my pigment. So this is how I mix up all of my pigments, interference, neons, shimmeries, all of them get the same treatment and now that I've got that scoop in there, we're going to use the Piggy Blender. I'm going to show you just how awesome this thing is. So you might think it's just a regular coffee frother, but this one is so much more powerful. So you just want to go slow at first and be very careful that you don't inhale any of that dust. You just want to get that nice and wet. Hold it under the surface. And that pigment is now fully dispersed in the Josonia Gloss Varnish and it only took a couple of seconds, if that. Then I'm going to add in my pouring medium. So I'll just spin out some of the rest of that paint. Now my pouring medium is the Torbman's Door and Trim Gloss in Neutral. And I'm just going to pour that in. And when I mix this up, this mixes up a full tub of paint. And then we're just gonna stick that back into the mixture and let that spin. And this will fully incorporate, get everything nice and mixed in, and we should have a gorgeous ready to use paint. Now the trick with these mixes is to keep them under the surface of the paint at all times. One, that will prevent bubbles, and two, that will also stop paint from flying everywhere. Just needs a little bit more, and every now and then just lift it up, lift it out, make sure everything is mixing nicely. we go and I like to keep a cup of clean water handy and to clean the mixer you just stick it in there it'll make a little vortex and that's nice and clean then I just give it a couple of spins to get the water out of it and that is ready to go for next time okay super easy super quick and when you've got a lot of paints to mix up that really saves a lot of time now, the Fluid Art Co. mixing sticks are also great for seeing the amazing colours that come off these interference colours. So it looks white in the, uh, in the jar, but you can see Ball Gown is a beautiful, rich interference gold. So that's just going to give a nice little sparkle over the top of everything. So the colours I am using today are, in my paints, I have Matisse Thalo Green. It's a nice dark green. Christmassy colours aren't really my favourite. I'm not a fan of red and green together. But 
I'm gonna give it a, a shot. <laughs> um, I have Matisse Deep Rose Matter mixed with Pebio Iridescent Red Blue. And so this color is a nice deep rich red, but it's also got an interference bluey purpley pink color to it. So it's really interesting and I'm keen to see how that one goes. I have this little piggy Grenache, gorgeous red, best uh, metallic red I've ever seen in my life. I have this little piggy Emerald, an amazing deep rich green. Then I have this little piggy ball gown, which you just saw me mix up. And then I have Boom Gel Stains, I have Flame Tree Red and Eclectus Green. So these are going to act as a paint layer along with my Matisse Thalo Green and my Deep Rose Matter. So let's get started with the pour. I'm just going to put my paper towel down and we decided not to mix up a fresh CA for this. Save a little bit of time. Now I'm going to do some with a black background and some with a white background just to see what I prefer. Now I like to pour my uh, pillow paint into different containers. So this one's just a vinegar bottle that I cleaned out and I washed. And this is really handy for pouring out the white paint because it comes out nice and slow. And it's very easy con to control where it goes. So let's pour out the white paint. It's nice and thick today. It's very unusual because it's been quite warm out here. And let's start off with some blooms. I'm just going to grab a cup so I can scrape every all the waste into that. Let's start off with some blooms. So I think I'm going to start off with the boom gels and I've given these a little shake. Maybe not enough. And I'm going to try and layer these colors next to each other rather than on top. And that's because I do want to see each individual color. And last time I did Christmas coasters and I layered them on top of each other, they blended together and made a really yucky. <laughs> I just did not like it. So my green, phthalo green, is looking a little bit thick. So I'm just going to add some more Josonia gloss varnish to this. And the reason I'm adding the gloss varnish now and not just plain water is because I don't know how this is going to hold up over the next couple of minutes, over the next couple of pours. So better to add the gloss to it now and then water later on. So that way it's still got those glossy components, but it's not changing the texture all too much. Now this one I'm just going to drizzle on. Then I'm going to do my Grenache and the Emerald. And then I'm going to finish up with that Deep Rose Matter mixed with the Pebio Iridescent and this little piggy ball gown. That's going to go on top. Now my colours are down, let's go on with our cell activators. And I didn't actually check these. These are a couple of weeks old, so hopefully they still work. Otherwise I will need to mix up some more. Black's looking good. And I've got high hopes for the bronze as well. Perfection. Okay, so when we're putting the cell activators on, we want to be really quick with it so that they don't sink too much and we can still blow them out. All right, get my mini blower ready and blow it out. really had to work for that. I think something's a little bit too thin. I'm not exactly sure what it is. But we're going to figure that out. Got little bits of crusties everywhere and I don't know where they've come from. Okay. So there's a lot of green in this one. That eclectus green really sort of took over and I don't have much of my other colours. So that might just mean that we have to change up how we layer everything or where we put it. And I don't know if I'm a fan of how that's interacting with Emerald. The 
that green might just be a little bit too bright for Christmas colours. And this is one thing that I, I really don't like Christmas colours together, but I've got a commission order for them. I'm just not a fan of red and green going together. So I don't know if no matter what I do to these, I'm going to like them. <laughs> just because I just don't like Christmassy colours. Blue and white, gold, all of those sorts of things I can get behind, but red and green is not one of them. And I just think it's because of the shade of each colour. So if we look at this, we can see that gorgeous gold interference in those cells there. And the lovely sparklies of Grenache and Emerald in there as well. Okay, so that was our test piece. So let's try again. I'm going to put a little bit less Eclectus Green in there this time. Because that did take over a little bit. Let's just put the smallest blob in the middle. Let's try for the red inner ring around the outside. And then let's go with our Matisse Thalo Green. Let's put down Grenache next. Followed by the Deep Rose Matter. Then we're going to put Ball Gown, I think, and I want to finish up with Emerald because I sort of lost all the Emerald in there. Finish up with that. And let's see how our cell activator goes on top of this. And I think I like that ordering much better. We don't have so much of that bright fluoro green in there. There are a couple little cells in the center that have it, and it definitely changed the cell structure. I've got lots of tiny little cells in the middle and all around, and that's something I really like. A lot of people are always trying for massive open cells, but I really like the tight little ones. And that's just from changing which color was where in our pore. Let's give this a spin. Now, if you're interested in buying any of the little piggy pigments that I'm using today, or the boom gels, you can get all of those at fluid-art.co. And if you would like to learn how to do the Shelly Art Bloom technique like I'm doing, you can learn that at shellyart.com.au. And the best part is, if you use my code SHELLYART15MGRIMER, you'll get 15% off the course. Links to everything are in my description and flashing up on the screen as well. Now I'm just tilting my coaster off-center so that anything that's in the middle will move out to the edge and flatten out as it spins, and that way I'm not going to get warped cells. And I think I like that much better than the previous one. We can just see that shift of gold over everything when we tilt it. Lovely. Grenache and ball gown together work really, really well. And I might actually just do a set of coasters with Grenache and ball gown. They can be Christmassy as well. So let's do that now. And I can always come back to that color scheme in a second. So this time, let's put down a little bit of our flame tree red just as a bit of a base, then Grenache, and Ball Gown. And then we'll go on with our Bronze CA, and our Black CA. Give that a spin before those cells form and what that will do is will help them to stretch out 
and stretch out those center cells without warping them too much and you'll get really nice tight cells as you spin those out. So a lot of people wait for it to come back to the middle. I like to just spin it out and see how it goes. And you can see, even with just two simple colors of red and gold, we get this amazing flamey, color shifty coaster. So also really Christmassy. And this one is actually going to be for a dragon uh, coaster that I have to make. So that's going to be the perfect background for that. So now that I know that works, let's go keep going with our Christmas theme. 